information online. Um, I would honestly say I've tried to avoid being too critical on information. Um, the reason being that I was aware in the Philippines that when I moved there, information was out of date by up to a decade. Um, the information I'm sharing at the moment is as current from what I'm aware of. Um, what I find bizarre is that some people take it as gospel. Um, it's a guide. It's like, it's bits and pieces I put together, found, no. And the important bit of this is, if you're moving to Spain full time, get up to date with stuff. Um, be aware of like was, the different documents, like I was saying, the Empradremento and the other bits and pieces because there are things you need to look for. Now, I could say this is the process, but the fact is, by the time I get there to Spain in October, it could be completely different. And there's no point in me writing it down. The fact is, you want that document, but it doesn't mean that the process is going to be the same for me now as it would be in October, which is why I wouldn't share that exact process because it may change and the whole point is is the document you need to know that you need to obtain around the time that you need to obtain it that's when you need to research how you get it where to go and what to do um, like um, where I was in Torre Vella, the police station which is part time used to be the tourist information office so I could have said that, you know, if I'd done this uh, a few years ago, I could say, well, that's the tourist information office. Well, when you went there, it would be the police station. This is why it's important that no matter what you see or hear online, you, you take it all with a pinch of salt. Note down the important bits, like this is residency related material. This is the documents you need. The processes on obtaining them, you need to research when you get there. You need to speak to people who are already there. You need to ask when they last found out. Because it's like when I got my residency in the Philippines, it was very different to people who had done it the year before. Because the year before, people needed x-rays and all sorts. When I went, it was documentation. There was no medical tie with it. So things change all the time. That's why you just need to absorb information, make notes, and simply build a bigger picture and have more questions than you have answers. The reason being, you need to assess every answer you've got um, because it may not be correct anymore. Um, that's why I say always take it with a pinch of salt. Even the stuff I say, it's, it's relevant to what I've found at the moment, but it's gonna change. It always does. It, there's no way of beating the bush about that. But the fact is, I try to collate what I can so I can give a bit more information as and when I find it. Like if you got the information for me this week, I'm sure it'd be good for another six weeks. But anything more than that, who knows? Okay, thanks for watching.